Good morning, interwebs. It's just a touch before 6 in the evening. Currently, Steve and the kids are all out trick-or-treating. I hate that whole going door-to-door -door thing. So I stay at home, and they have fun, and then they come back and see me and tell me all about it. And everybody is much happier that way. I uh, went to the library this morning. Oh, the elephant on my face. So I have cold sores now because I have been sick obviously and so made my lips all chapped to the point where they hurt so bad that I was using chapstick because I couldn't take it anymore however I can't put things on my lips like chapstick or lipstick or anything for any length of time really or it makes me break out in cold sores for whatever reason my mouth does not like to have anything on it so I now have resulting cold sores to add to the whole thing which is just just lovely. That's my tea beeping, though. That is actually lovely, my tea. Um, but we went to the library this morning. I uploaded the vlog. The kids went to story time where they made little uh, ghosts. They glued, like, cotton balls all over them. They thought it was fun. And then for, like, a treat, I told Steve I thought it was a trick for the parents, but each of the kids got a uh, coupon for a free ice cream from Sonic and a free taco from Taco Bell. So, we went to Taco Bell today so they could have their tacos, and I got like a burrito and nachos, and Steve got some burritos. So, we had Taco Bell for lunch, and then everybody was really tired. Everyone probably would have slept in this morning because we had to wake everybody up for library. So, did rest time. I slept in the recliner again this afternoon. That seemed to be helpful. Steve slept, and then I went and woke him up. Take everybody trick-or-treating. Right now, I'm actually about to just put some fire some fire, some wood on the fire so that it will stay warm in here and I am boiling water to make some homemade macaroni and cheese so that's going to be tasty. But it's cold here today. I don't actually know what temperature but when we were coming home from the library there were flurries. I didn't know it was supposed to snow but I figured it out pretty quick because here if there's any small weather event everywhere you go if there are people it will be all that anybody's talking about. So we walk in the library and people start making little jokes about snow. And I was like, ha ha, is it supposed to snow? And she's like, oh yeah, they mentioned it on the radio this morning. I was like, oh, that's why everybody's talking about it. And then it did. It flurried quite a bit, actually. But, I mean, nothing that'll stick because it's been too warm. But still, snow in the air. Anyways, I'm going to go and get that, that wood on the fire so that it doesn't feel like snow in the house. And then I'm going to go make macaroni and cheese. So, my eight-year-old and I are going to be doing NaNoWriMo together, and we are doing it um, through, there's a curriculum package that you can get through the NaNoWriMo site. They have, like, a youth writing program. Anyways, we're working our way through the elementary school workbook, and one of the things you had to do was draw your inner editor. So, here is my inner editor. Isn't it cute? Yeah, it's, it's a world with really big eyes. And a pink pearl eraser on one hand because those are the best kind. A garbage can to put bad work in. A backspace button for its other leg. And look there, there's a giant thumbs down. So now we're going to put our inner editors into the freezer for the month while we try and write without consulting them. So it is 1230 and I just got out of the shower and stuff. Hence the, uh, the lovely wet rat look. Oh, I have my glasses back on. Oh, so I guess I should mentioned an update on my glasses. I really like my new glasses. They definitely got my prescription better this time. I know, see the optometrist I went to this time is also um, relatively new. I think he's been there like a year, but he's like newly out of optometry school as opposed to the other two optometrists we saw because we go to like a private practice um, and they, one of them just retired obviously. So they uh, clearly have been doing this a long time. Not that they were not good, but I always think there's something to the like young, like freshly out of school people because I felt like my exam was slightly more thorough, probably because you know you still don't necessarily like trust yourself completely, so you do a little bit more fact finding. But um, he came to the conclusion like I have issues with um, he calls it glare. I call it like I see like light around things or like have hard time focusing sometimes because of a brightness. It's very difficult to explain, but he calls it glare, so whatever. Um, but the uh, when he was doing all of the tests and stuff, we figured out my prescription, which is fairly light, 
except he also figured out that like I guess my eyes are not aligned exactly which is not necessarily uncommon but the amount they're off is probably what causes that um, that glare so the prescription they offset my prescriptions so they're the same I guess or whatever the appropriate one is for each eye but the center point of the eye is intentionally moved off center to um, calibrate or like make up for the difference in my eyes I don't exactly know how they do it all but I know that it seems to be making a difference it was a little like I said weird to get used to and it made me feel kind of tipsy and wonky for a little bit but after about a week I feel like I see more clearly and I notice a bigger diff like when I'm not wearing my glasses I notice a bigger difference um so like I've been wearing them more just because I can see so much better so that's that's great that's what you're hoping for right okay I have been working on my fall sweater tonight see my pile of things and I uh, worked on some NaNoWriMo stuff with my kids apparently the five-year-old's getting in on the game too which means I have to transcribe all his stuff so it'll be fun though and it'll be a good experience and like so we're trying to write a novel it's just the idea of you try to write every day and you set like reasonable goals so I'll be working through the kids writing program with my kids um, writing my own story but you know following like their same guidelines so I'm not gonna try and write 50,000 words that's just impractical in my life right now but I will try to write some words every day so we are gonna keep chugging along at that and I am going to say goodnight to you now so I don't forget to do it later. I'm going to just work on my sweater, I think, and hang out and just kind of try and relax a little because I think that is good for me. And I'm not ready to go to bed yet, but I just need to hang out by the fire and do nothing, basically. And maybe take what we refer to as the mom tax out of the Halloween candy because there are currently, there is one plastic pumpkin and two plastic like ice cream bucket sized things that have like Halloween stuff on them. So yes, we have three big buckets and then we took candy from the last two little event things that we had gone to and gotten candy at and there's some in a plastic bag on the table. So there's a lot of candy. The kids though going around town tonight, in addition to like the usual candy and stuff, there was a lot more um, like cheese puffs and popcorn and um, Fruit snacks, a lot of fruit snacks. Uh, Kool-Aid jammers, which are just funny because we never get those because I just think they're ridiculous. Um, and things like that. So a lot more like food type of things. And the kind of cool thing is living where we live, you actually like know the people. So like we got homemade popcorn balls and I don't know if there's anything. There's frequently like Rice Krispie treats and stuff. And they're from people that we know. So it's like totally not a big deal in fact they're usually super tasty um so that's always kind of fun but I'll have to go and pick through and see see what is going to get consumed tonight and I will see you all tomorrow nighty night